What's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on this video uh, for re-rolling just making a regular video today. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, Okay, for real this time, thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome back to Rerolling. And uh, there's been a lot going on lately, which is why I've been a little skimpy on some of the videos. I've had my bachelor party. Uh, Joseph from Nerd Sloth was visiting us for a week. We ended the last uh, week of boot camp for CrossFit and started a new one. And uh, I decided because it is basically Halloween um, in just the next couple days, which is my favorite holiday, I decided to dress up as the thing that I fear the most right now, which is feeling like shit. Oh no, I just feel like that's a really appropriate thing for me to do right now. So at the end of the first week of boot camp, we did the boot camp fitness test, which is what we did the very first day of boot camp as well. This is so we can compare the scores from the two days and see what kind of improvements have been made. The test itself was an AMRAP as many rounds as possible within an eight minute time frame, and it was structured with five burpees, 10 hands off the ground push-ups, which means once your chest hits the floor, your hands come off, so you are all the way down and then lifting yourself all the way back up. 20 box step ups, 30 air squats, 40 calories on a rowing machine or a bike. I did the bike in this case. So you're doing all of that within the eight minutes and that is 105 reps totaled out with each calorie burn on the bike, constituting as one rep. And fishing within the eight minutes, you wanna start it again and see how far you can get. So it does not stop until you hit that eight minute time limit. And by the end of boot camp, I improved my score by 28 reps, which was super awesome. I was very excited about it. So second boot camp started, and guess what we did? The same thing, we did the fitness test. And I was a little bit under what I ended with for the end of boot camp number one. I'm not too surprised by that because that was the time period Joseph was visiting. It was a week and a half or, or possibly two weeks off of CrossFit where lots of, of eating and drinking took place. Eating wasn't so bad. I actually did okay for um, watching uh, the amount I ate except for bachelor party which you can imagine the things that go on at a bachelor party as far as drinking and 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 we kind of gorged on some pizza and things like that. And just while we're on that subject, weird stuff, we found a mannequin head in the refrigerator where we were, as you saw at the beginning of this video. Also a bird got in the house and that took a while to solve. So that happened. Bachelor parties are weird, man. So Joseph was still up here when we began boot camp week two. And he went to the very first class with us and did the fitness test. And I can definitely say he was challenged, which is really cool because if you guys know Joseph from the other stuff in the Nerd Sloth Network, you know he's a pretty fit dude. He's very much in shape. And this really pushed him to his limits doing the fitness test, which is awesome. So he finished the fitness test with 133 reps while I finished with 122. So we were pretty close to each other. Um, again, that's really awesome. I'm really proud of him for doing it with me because I know it was a struggle and I know he was feeling it the next day and two days after, um, especially in his legs. What's really nice about that and what he shared with me is that was able to point out some weaker areas in his body that he doesn't pay enough attention to his lower body when he's working out. So I'm really glad that he's gotten something out of it and I've taken something out of it as well. And that is the big focus for me this boot camp round, which is five more weeks, is going to be absolutely the food, the eating. Over the time I've been doing this channel and doing the last round of boot camp, I've really kind of figured out my physical limits and what things I can do, I can't do, what things I can improve upon, what things I enjoy doing. So I think the physical part is really kind of come together. So now it's really time for me to shift my focus to the area that causes me the most problems, which is the eating. And which is also why I am dressed like this, because I've realized a few things about myself. Counting calories is really hard for me, and I know calories in, calories out is really the way to go if you wanna lose weight. And I am still gonna be paying some attention to that, but I'm also gonna be paying a lot of attention to how I feel after a meal and even the next day after eating certain meals. So I'm gonna be doing some food journaling and it's not just gonna be tracking the physical but also the mental, like tracking my mood as well. Um, and I think that that's what's gonna really hit home for me is kind of getting to know how it affects my body and how it affects my mind because that's been the big focus for me um, with the physical part of exercising and things like that this last 
year and a half that I've been doing the channel. So I'm really excited to see what this next month and a half will bring. And I really want to encourage you guys to to take a look at the things that you're doing in your daily lives, whether it's eating, whether it's moving, or whether it's being very sedentary, and just kind of take note of how you feel, because I think that's going to be the biggest impact. It's really easy to take a look at numbers and make them feel arbitrary, or take a look at how many calories you're going over in a meal and get discouraged by that. Instead, take a look at how it makes you feel. And I think that's going to be more impactful for those of you that are like me and struggle with numbers. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all those things that help out the channel so we can grow and, and just have a good time doing, doing this. All right, everybody, hope you have a very safe and happy and fun Halloween. I know I'm going to be watching lots of Halloween movies and eating some delicious Halloween treats within reason. And because I end every video like that lately, just remember, keep... Keep fighting. Yeah.